What is going on guys? Echo Limits is here, right back with another video for you guys. I want to talk about today what is the best game mode for Battlefield 1 and specifically the best game mode for Battlefield 1 on console. So let's go ahead and check out the different things that are going on with this game. So um, when this game shipped, it came with a couple of different game modes. The game modes are Conquest, Domination, Rush, Team Deathmatch, and War Pigeons. And ever since the game's come out, I had a chance to play all of these, including the new game mode called Operations. So first of all, I want to take you guys back through some of these more known game modes. So Conquest is obviously the staple of the series. It's still good, but the one thing I found out is that on console, 64 players, you do get some artifacting in uh, the sound and things like that. So it's not as stable as I wanted it to be uh, in the release. Um, I will not say it's the best game mode, but it's still a solid pick. Domination is for those of you guys who like TDM style stuff. So Team Deathmatch and Domination very go hand in hand. But there's no vehicles, not much destruction to be had. I still feel like it's not the way Battlefield's meant to be played. Rush has always been my all-time favorite, but this time around, guys, I have to say, having that smaller player count is not the way to go. And what's surprisingly fun is War Pigeons, but it gets me so angry. For those of you guys who see my live streams, I get so mad when my team is just not doing it. I'm like, man, what a challenging game mode, though. You get a great challenge and War Pigeons. So that brings me to what I believe is the best game mode for this ba Battlefield game. It is Operations and... When we click right into it, you get a choice of Kirschla, I think that's how you say it, Conquer Hell, Iron Walls, or Oil of Empires. So there's four different operations, and I really, really enjoy this game mode. Yes, it is quite long, but if you have an hour to spare, you're going to have such a blast playing. It is well balanced, well um, thought through, and well designed. When I say well designed, what I mean by that is, what's a good game mode? It boils down to a lot of the different things but ultimately if you have good gunplay if you have a good map design and a great idea for the mode itself when all of that comes together you're gonna have a blast and this is where battlefield one shines it's operations guys you have to try it out my favorite operation right now is still conquer hell because i like the close quarter combat that it brings but recently i've been enjoying iron walls because it's so heavily heavily like how do i even put this i mean it's not that it's not balanced but the defenders have a better time uh defending so i do like a good challenge and i like that uphill battle so i really like iron walls and for those of you guys who like sniping oil of empires is your choice oil of empires is really cool for those sniping moments um that's great and kirschlaw a lot of people like amians i think it's all right i'd still rather go at the ballroom blitz forest itself but it's a good one, solid one. The only problem with Kirschla is the beginning in those trenches could be really, really hard to get. St. Quentin Scar, the first map, is very difficult. Not to mention uh, the few other parts of it, especially the last part itself, is extremely difficult. Even with the behemoth up in the sky, it's hard to get. Uh, which kind of can tell you iron walls too, since there's only one objective at the end of the first map. It could be really, really difficult. But then again... You have a team that's working together you're gonna have such a blast playing operations uh, and there there you have it I just want to quickly make this video tell you guys exactly how I feel and what you should be playing I'm planning on making a more in-depth video for each of these operations and uh, sharing that with you guys in a coming uh, week or so uh, so tune in for that Above all, thank you guys for watching and supporting the live streams. Live streams have been insane, insane. I've had so much fun playing this game. Sorry I have not been making that much YouTube content, at least. Not as much as I want to. Just extremely strapped for time. You do, guys. And know that I'm a teacher, and that's already a, a pretty difficult job as it is. But, no excuses, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the stream, and I'll be signing off. Remember to stay classy. Blue screen out.